What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Cletus Selling That Has No Life. Um, I want to do a unboxing because I found a pop out in the wild and I wanted to show you guys so I can give you guys some stuff for the week. Um, if you're new to the channel, I am a professionally world ranked professional boxer, number five in the world, and I'm scheduled to have a big fight soon, maybe, hopefully, we don't know, but I've been be uh, back behind videos, so I'm going to do a bunch of videos today because I'm back to training, and today I was able to find in a Walgreens, well this week, was able to find this Sally Pop. Um, the Sally Pop has the Series 2 guys on here, and I have no idea why this pop was in this Walgreens that was like and two hours later, it was like an hour and a half drive from where I live. And I was out there, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to Walgreens, and I found this pop. It's actually very interesting um, that this pop was there. I think it was released in like 2013, 2014, so it was pretty weird to see this guy there. Um, let's go do a review of it. Let's check out its box, check out the character, and see how that goes. Let's check out the box before we talk about her. Um, the description literally says on, on Pop Price Guide that this was released in 2011. Um, I have no idea why this particular pop was in a Walgreens uh, all the way out east. Um, as you can see on the back of it, it literally has a series two pops, the, the ones that everybody wants, that they're a Disney fan, even that bell on the bottom. Uh, very expensive, very, even that Lotso, the Lotso of course, the, the, the Flock Lotso from a Comic Con is like a few, $700 or something like that, but her box itself from 2011 is in really good shape, being that it was on shelves. Um, I don't see any anything really wrong with it. Um, to me, if I had to grade this, I would give like a 9.5 for, for its age and the way it's been just sitting there. I have no idea, like I said again, why this pop was in Walgreens. So let's open it up one time and then uh, and let's hear about what I have to say about Miss Little Sally Girl right here. As you guys know, uh, as you guys don't know yet, but for Halloween this year, I'm gonna be Jack and Punky is gonna be Sally. So let's put her on a stand and see how she looks. All right, she's actually very small. Um, she's just like maybe only a few inches high. So um, as you can see, she has red hair, looks pretty cool. Um, I know she's a rag doll, but she looks pretty cool for a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas pop that I found in Walgreens that was released in 2011, just a few days ago. She has the stitches on her eyes. She looks pretty pretty. Um, no wonder Jack wants to, <clears throat> uh, you know, get into it. But let me read a quick description of this pop. All right, getting into the description of a Sally is from uh, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, she is a human roid uh, rag doll created by Dr. Finkenstein. Uh, she is made of various pieces stitching together with dead leaves used as stuffing. It is unlikely that she feels any physical pain. This is demonstrated in the movie when she leaps from her upstairs bed chamber in Franken Frankenstein's lab. After some of her limbs become detached upon impact, she sews them back. Uh, head creation of the doctor. She is always under lock and key thus when she wants to go out she poisons the doctor with deadly nightshade covered with the worms wart and frog's breath and sneaks out um, a little bit more sally has a crush on jack skeleton but is unsuccessful in showing her affections to jack uh, I've, i remember from the movie that it's like a little behind the scenes kind of love story. Uh, but it's actually nice to know a little bit more about the actual character um, if you haven't seen the movie in, in years like myself. And to want to go buy this pop with knowing something about it after it goes on your shelf. So hope you guys like to uh, review the unboxing of it. Finding this thing in a Walgreens out in Bumble, you know what. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Hammer out.